Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of Airflow 101. In this episode, let's talk about what is Apache Airflow. Airflow is an open source platform for authoring, scheduling, and monitoring workflows. Now, let me break down that definition into simpler terms. Authoring. Workflows in Airflow are written as directed acyclic graphs in Python programming language, and you can define your own graphs using that. Scheduling. The user can specify when a workflow should start, and after what interval it should run again, etc. Monitoring. Airflow provides an interactive interface to monitor your workflows. It has a bunch of different tools to monitor your workflows in real time. Let's represent the process of baking a pizza as a workflow. I have broken down the entire process into smaller tasks. The first task can be kneading the dough. It will require some flour, oil, yeast, and water. Another task can be preparing toppings, getting sauce and cheese. Only when these two tasks are complete, I will be able to move on to the next task which is putting all the items on the pizza base. And the final task can be baking the pizza. I have essentially broken down the process of baking a pizza into a workflow. Let's talk about history and current scenario revolving around Apache Airflow. Airflow was started in October 2014 at Airbnb and Project joined the Apache Software's Incubator program in March 2016. As I speak, the project has over 15,000 stars on GitHub. Airflow is used by all major companies such as Lyft, Kubol, Slack, etc. In the next video, I'll be talking about why should you use Apache Airflow. So, see you all in the next video.